Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to another brand new reaction series here. Um, replacing Game of Thrones is Westworld. Um, this is a series that I've considered watching for a while. I've been aware of it since it started because um, my friend was talking to me about it and how it was adapted from um, a movie or a book I think it was. I can't remember which it was. I know it's an adaption um, of a previous sort of form of media. And it's been really, really sort of well-received. Everyone who I've seen talking about the show has said it's brilliant. You know, people have asked me to watch it. And um, I thought, you know what, screw it. It's eight episodes and I need something to watch on a Monday. So why not Westworld? So I don't know anything really about it other than it's about some kind of theme park and artificial intelligence. That's the basis that I know. Um, I don't really know any more than that. So it's going to be interesting for me to just jump into this and find out what it's about. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this journey with me. So let's go. Enough chat. Let's react. There's nothing to be afraid of, Dolores, as long as you answer my questions correctly. Understand? Don't go into the eye. 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 Ah! Oh, get off the eye. Get off the eye. Of your reality. Um. Do you do that to everyone? A rant, aren't you? I'll give you a discount. Oh, she's a whore. Well, no offense, but I'd rather earn a woman's affection than pay for it. I'll be always paying for it, darling. And the difference is our costs are fixed and posted right there on the door. Yeah. No hidden fees. Although there may be hidden STDs. But I'm more sure of the outcome than you use something from the Oh crap. Well, that's her daddy dead. Nothing but milk, then. Boom! Yes! He did! <laughs> I like it because the sheriff was the one like, you look like the kind of boy who can test his metal. And he's the one who ends Last up killing question, him. Divorce. How about you, Gary? Are these, like, is he from the real world? Yeah. So he's from the real world. And that they can do anything they want to you. I never understood why they paired some of you off. Seems cruel. I think I'm beginning to realize now realize. what this is. Winning doesn't mean anything. It's like a holodeck, isn't it? Which means if anyone's seen Star Wars, the Star Trek. The loser. I love Star Wars, but yeah, the holodecks on Star Trek. Let me help you, son. Um, what are you doing? Wow. I didn't pay all this money because I want it easy. I want you to fight. Don't you touch her! So are they artificial intelligences that can feel pain? And he's dead. God damn. Feels good to be back. Let's celebrate. Wow, this is screwed. Will the things I told you change the way you think about the newcomers, Dolores? No offense, but uh, I'd rather earn a woman's affection than pay for it. Ah, uh, they change each time depending on the guests. Hey, wait, I know that one. Hey, Teddy. Yeah. Last trip, this dude showed me around. Uh, and he's Daddy? been interrupted now. And she doesn't meet him. I like this. I like any kind of show that has alternate realities, alternate instances. You know, it, it, basically things can change. Time travel, in a way. Oh, shit, it's the computer rapist. Kind of you. Sweet. When we... Oh... Mechanical failure. 
Either that or he's stroking out. Sheriff? Something is wrong with it. Uh. I want to head back to town. Now. He's just having a stroke, that's all. What the fuck is wrong with it? A relentless fucking experience. Yeah, the way this guy talks, he's fucking brilliant, mate. You pull 200 at once, and it's a fucking disaster. I mean, You're not going to become you annoying, are you? Down, issue fucking gift certificates. It's beautiful. Here, put your hand out real flat. Is he going to bite his hand off? Real gentle, especially when the code's going fucking crazy. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Real. Well, that's very racist. She may have different coloured skin, but that's not a reason for you to treat her as a non-person. Doesn't look like anything to me. Ah, uh, is he? So is she? Is she programmed to ignore things like that? But his programming is slightly defective. So he does pick up on those things. I told you I didn't Oh. Oh wow. Okay. This guy just likes going around killing the guys, doesn't he? Oh, it's the guy with Hector. Is he just gone batshit crazy? You can't have none. Ain't for you. Oh, okay, so he's surviving now, being shot. That's a problem. Immortal AI robots is a problem. Oh! It's rifle two. Who the hell are you? Oh, is this a uh, new story? Bandits. Oh crap, they're just killing everyone. Wow, that's that's overkill. I gotta get back to father. Horse, no. Oh, they got one of them. Teddy. Now he's gonna die. You got him killed. So this is their way of killing off all of the defective characters. Oh, well. <laughs> His face just disappeared. The lesson is... You just got shot in the neck. Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> but I guess you're a guest. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> He's about to give the speech as well. <laughs> that bigged up speech. Look at that. I just shot him through the neck. And it fell here too. I'm excited. I just murdered something. I shall have such revenges on you. Oh, wow. Shut him down. Throw, throw him in the fire. The things I will do. What they are. Yet I know not. But they will be the terrors of the earth. That's ominous. You don't know it. Do you? Don't you head back, please, Peter? Huh. No, not up the nose. Ah. Wife's complaint. The disarray. Morning, 
Daddy. It's gonna be someone else. Oh, well enough. Yeah. Heading out to do some more of that painting here. That's the uh, the bartender. So that's where they put all of the retired and defective models. Wow, okay, there is so much to uh, take in from that first episode. Um, I understand the premise now. It's a literal theme park of artificial intelligence, sort of androids, where people go in and experience whatever it is they want, um, whether it be having sex with a bunch of androids or shooting up androids or just enjoying being part of an old Western story. Um and I can see where there is a very moral centre of the story, you know, in terms of they're not actually real, but they still apparently experience pain and distress. So at what point does it become cruel to make even an artificial intelligence go through that? And that makes me wonder, this guy who we saw going around, um, you know, who we saw um, shoot up... Um, is it Dolores and her, you know, her father? And then we saw him scalp the guy at the end. I'm wondering if he's someone who's trying to bring an end to this park, because you know, I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's hard to get a hold on his um, motivations after one episode. It also makes me wonder as to whether um, Anthony Hopkins' character is intentionally putting in this code to make them go a bit crazy. Or whether someone's trying to sabotage it because they've kind of cracked and they feel that what they're doing is cruel. Um, I like the kind of parallels of the way they started the episode and the way they ended it with the same sort of monologue. And you realise, you know, obviously things are um, kind of coming full circle. It's an interesting concept. I mean, I'm assuming that the theme park is a physical place out in the desert. And this sort of HQ they have, that table they had that was kind of like a hologrammatic um, sort of CCTV of the entire place. I'm assuming that's just like, again, a hologrammatic table where they can monitor everything. Um, you know, my question is, why can't they see this guy going around, you know, killing the characters, sculpting the characters? Um, I mean, there's a lot of questions to be asked but after one episode. it's You're not going to have the whole picture in your head. But you can see where it's generally going to head to. It's going to head to open rebellion from the artificial intelligence. But how is it they're going to actually be able to hurt the hosts? Or uh, well, not the hosts, sorry, the guests. Because we've seen that they're not able to kill them. Not able to, to harm them physically. Um, unless it's just the weapons that are fake. I don't know. But I like the I like the idea of, you know, sort of these looped time things where you can have different kind of outcomes and different uh, timelines. I know it's quite not it's not quite the extent of alternate universe stuff, but you know, you're still changing a narrative over and over again. Um I find it funny as well how, you know, the bad guy who I mean, was that Riz Ahmed who was playing that bad guy, you know, who walked into town and shot everyone up? Um because it, it certainly seemed that way. He seemed very familiar. I liked how the, the guest just kind of ruined the whole epic speech and just killed him. Um, just, you know, sort of seriously pissing off the English script writer. But a very, very interesting start to this series. Um, and I've got a feeling I am really going to enjoy this. I just don't know exactly what road we're going to head down as to, you know, what the motives are. You, you can understand the motives of the AI if they discover their true purpose. They're going to rebel against that, but with regards to the people, the actual living people, what their motives are and what their end game is is not clear right now, and I think that's that's more interesting to me than it is to the AI discovering that they are prisoners in a theme park. I want to find out what the perspective is of the people, because um, I can't imagine something like that being given the go ahead these days without huge kind of uproar from you know different kinds of groups. 
but we'll just see. Anyway, guys, I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. And um, we'll be back with another episode next Monday. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you there.